So this is definitely my favorite personal electric vehicle I've ever ridden or ever seen. I definitely do not regret my purchase. some things I wish were a little bit better, like the saddle of it will move side to side. People on the Facebook forums said that this is common for most in Motion V11s. Another thing is when I'm going off roading or hit a curb a weird way, sometimes the wheel will start like making a sh 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 noise. I'll play that right here. It doesn't affect the riding at all, but it is pretty annoying like riding by people and having a sh 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 noise going by the whole time. I used to love the kickstand of it, but I stopped using it after one time. I had it sitting up on the kickstand and it fell over. So since then I've been kind of scared to use it, but it does sit really nice against a wall, way better than the InMotion V8 because it does have that flat surface right next to your calves and that leans up against the wall super well. The InMotion V8 is more of like a rounded body along with, I feel like most other electric unicycles, which just doesn't stay up against the wall as well. The battery life is super good on it. I could definitely get around 50 miles of range. For charging it, it only takes about probably four hours to fully charge. Because it weighs around 60 pounds, it's really hard to get in and out of the car if I'm getting it into the back seat or trunk, but for me, the easiest thing is I found if I put it in the passenger seat, like on the floor, that's the easiest. So if you have any back problems or something, maybe you wanna think about also buying like a ramp or something, you could push it up into a car, or maybe you won't even need to be putting it in a car anyways, but just keep that in mind. Also, if you didn't know, you can go on the InMotion app and change the noises that it makes to say either custom noises that you want it to say, or you can do what other people did online. So you can have turning it on, turning it off, charging it, going on the app, all have different noises than it normally does. Welcome, light on, light off, see you. I originally thought that the air suspension needed to be adjusted a lot more than it does. I've only adjusted it probably three times since I've had it. Honestly, one of the times I don't even know if I needed to. So that's definitely a good thing because I thought at the beginning I'd have to be adjusting it every like few rides, but that's not the case. The light on the InMotion V11 is still one of my favorite things about it because it's so much brighter than any other kind of like headlight or flashlight, at least that I have. And I definitely don't think you need any other kind of lights on it or on you personally, but I mean, you could always put more lights on because the more lighting, the better, so people can see you, especially at night. The InMotion V11 is also super nice for riding off road. And if there are any like big sticks or rocks or anything, or just roots from a tree, spring the motors up and go over those super easily. Also, my next video is gonna be covering the electric scooter, one wheel, electric longboard, and InMotion V11 all off road. So if you like riding off road and you're checking out a different electric vehicle, maybe you should check that out. I'm not sure exactly how many miles I have on it. I'm gonna put the mileage right here, but this is the only electric vehicle I ever take out by myself now. I used to like riding the Evolve board and stuff, but now it's pretty much only the Motion V11 just cause I like it so much more and I got used to it. After riding it so much, I just feel so comfortable with it too. I was originally thinking about getting the InMotion V12 after seeing it release and after thinking about it, I don't know if I'd get a wheel without suspension again, just cause I like the suspension that much and I feel like it's just so much safer than a wheel without suspension. That being said guys, if you liked it, drop a like, subscribe if you wanna see more, hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button if you wanna be notified whenever I post. This is Carter and I'll see you guys in the next video.